curio collection Mexico City was opened in 2019 as the first curio collection property in Mexico City. I chose to stay here during my first visit to Mexico City as its prime location of Mexico City's historic center. It's within a few short blocks away from a variety of the city's most legendary attractions, including the Zocalo City Square, the Cathedral, Alameda Central Park, and tens of museums. Before the restoration, this used to be a heritage office building that was constructed in 1924. After entering the hotel, you would see the Fisfanil, which was the original name of this building. A dramatically long hallway drew my eye to the far end of the building. Above that was a full glass ceiling through which you could see the upper floors. An enticing blend of old and new was visible throughout the hotel. The reception room was made pretty dark on purpose, which you would have a similar feeling after you enter the room. The check-in process was fast and my diamond status was recognized. There were quite a few seats and sofas around the lobby. A grand staircase swelled up toward the upper floor, which was the first floor for guest rooms. The lobby was decorated with a lot of artworks. Interestingly, there was even a mini art museum. I really liked the boutique design of the hotel lobby with a lot of elegant furniture. There was more on the first floor which I will show you later. The second floor was even more beautiful than the ground level. You can see such eye-catching interplay between light and dark throughout the hotel design. The transparent glass floor enhanced the structure's original beauty with stylish contemporary touches. Around half of the rooms were in this open space area, while the rest were accessible through this dark alley. I believe there weren't any windows from these rooms facing outside. The hotel created such fake patios and balconies to gather more light, as well as creating some semi-private spaces. Our room was 102, which was at the end of the hallway. I booked through Hilton website directly, and with Diamond status, I was upgraded to this one-bedroom suite automatically before check-in. Bye! We are back in Mexico City. We are in Curia Collections by Hilton. Let's check out the room. Entering the room, you get the feeling of an art gallery. Um, the lights are pretty dark, you know, with uh, those paintings on the wall. Um, they also offer a welcome candies. They are traditional Mexican sweets. This entry room was more like an office. But because it was so dark, I didn't use it that much during my stay. This is an entrance uh, with a sofa and TV. It gives you like the cinema kind of feeling. It should be enjoyable to watch a movie. Uh, and drink some wine at night. It's, it feels so comfy. The bedroom was very bright with a super high ceiling and a window. 
I like the design of the room, which enhances the structure's original beauty with stylish contemporary touches and minimalistic furniture. The furniture are modern uh, with the coffee and tea, fridge, nice bucket, I'm bored, safe. Inside the drawer at the bottom, they provided bathrobes and a blanket. As you can see, the room is super high ceiling, like more than 10 feet, maybe 12 feet. It's facing the main street. In um, the downtown and square is three blocks away. Look how stylish are these super high pendant lamps. There were enough power outlets with USB chargers as well. However, the nightstands were a bit too small. The hotel provided two complimentary bottles of water every day. One problem I met with during my stay was the street noise. As the room was directly facing the busy street, I could hear vehicle horns occasionally. I once got woken up by them early in the morning. This is the hotel floor map. On each floor, there are three rooms directly facing the street. If you are a light sleeper, you probably want to avoid such rooms. The shower is spacious, also high seating. The fixtures and the tiles are from Postminosa. It's a well-known high-end brand for bathroom appliances, tiles, and everything. The dustbin looks like it's made from bamboo and it matches the sink in the cabinets. Most of the hotel amenities were on the fifth floor, which was the rooftop. To get there, you could take this very old school elevator. It might only be able to take four people at the same time, and there were two elevators for hotel guests to use. However, I didn't have to wait for the elevator at all during my entire stay. The rooftop was again beautifully decorated. Though not huge, there were two restaurants, a swimming pool, a gym, a bar, and a few lounge chairs. Taxia by Daniel Vidya is a fine dining restaurant at the hotel. There is a dedicated elevator from the ground floor. Pool is usually hard to find in the heart of Mexico City, and this one is more of a plunge pool than a regular size one you can actually swim in. There were plenty of comfy lounge chairs where you could sit back with a cocktail and enjoy the view.
Breakfast was served in the restaurant called Olivia. The restaurant was small but cozy and Instagrammable. It had both indoor and outdoor dining. We tried outdoors one day and indoor the other day. As a Diamond member, I got to enjoy complimentary breakfast. You could choose from three options. Olivia, classic, or vegan. It's interesting that for Diamond members, you could not choose other less expensive breakfast options though. This boutique hotel also has a small gym. It's next to the Olivia restaurant. It's kind of hidden and you could easily miss it as it's behind a mirror door. The gym wasn't very ventilated, I felt. The first floor features another restaurant and bar. On the left side of the entrance is the Ojo de Agua restaurant, which is a vegan restaurant. On the right side is the Chocolateria San Hines. It's a very interesting bar and bakery. It was originally from Madrid, and you would be able to enjoy authentic Spanish churros here. Next to the bar is a concept store. It has a mini art exhibition. It's focused on contemporary Mexican design, art, and gastronomy. There was a showroom for young Mexican designers and artisans with different products such as handcrafts, ornaments, art, sculpture, books, chocolates, jewelry, and such. It's an interesting mini museum to visit, even if you're not staying at the hotel. I got a candle. This is interesting. So you spray the perfume and then shake the rocks so you can smell, smell it. I chose this Ambro Hotel mainly due to its prime location at the historic center. The most popular Zoclock Plaza is only about one block away. Even for Alameda, Sancho, and the Palace of Fine Arts, they are less than 15 minutes walk away. So you should be able to walk to almost all the famous historic attractions easily. Another great part is that there are also many good restaurants in this historic center. I would definitely recommend to stay at the Hotel Ambro if it's the first time you are visiting Mexico City or your primary goal is to visit the historic center of the city. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it provides value to your next trip. How do you like Mexico City? What's your favorite hotel in CDMX? Feel free to leave comments below and I would love to hear from you. Please click the like button to help promote this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to get the latest updates and tips from my travel journey. See you next time!